Save 52, don't let the temperatures fool you. Thought it may not feel like it today, though it may not feel like it today. That is, spring is here, and that means there are plenty of things to do around the Hoosier State to celebrate the beauty of the season. Joining me this morning to share some of the top spring things to do in Indiana, Amy Howell, Visit Indy's Vice President of Tourism, Marketing, and Communications. Amy, first, let's talk about uh, outdoor options. Visit Indiana has like four cave shows for visitors. Tell me about that. So in Southern Indiana, we have what we call four show caves, and that means they're open to the public. So Marengo uh, in Southern Indiana, Marengo Cave is a national monument. It actually has two different caves that you can go through. There's Blue Springs Caverns, there's um, Indiana Caverns, and they all differ. So one has like a ride outside, one has mining that, you know, the kids can do, and then there's some where you can take a boat ride through the actual caverns. So four different options for you, plenty to see and do with your friends, your family, your coworkers, or whatever you want to do this spring. In the springtime, animals become more active, which means it's the perfect time to visit a zoo. What are some of the zoos you recommend? Well, most people may or may not know, but Indianapolis has a great zoo. I'm sure some of your viewers have been there. Awesome orangutan to visit. Um, a Fort Wayne Children's Zoo. It's actually great for children because everything is at eye level. So they can see everything, all the animals. There's a stingray that you can, you can pet. Down in Evansville, there is a tropical forest, basically, with all kinds of tropical birds and animals and everything. So they're all a little bit different. And Lafayette, the Columbian Zoo, is free. So anytime you want to just get in the car like I am, go see see the animals there's six different zoos across the state i think that would be so cool though being a kid and having everything at eye level right in front of you how exciting is that absolutely yeah lots of sunshine and still some cooler temps means hiking is also a great option in the state what are some uh, great state parks perfect for just that you said it state parks state parks are the perfect place uh one of the trails i love is at pokagon up in Angola, Northeast Indiana. Turkey runs great with the ladders. Uh, Clifty Falls, two different waterfalls, Big Clifty, Little Clifty down in Madison. There are so many. Shade State Park, a little lesser known. State Park, gorgeous out west on I-70. So plenty of things to do. You also got biking, hiking, fishing, whatever you want to do at these parks. Brown County is great for biking too looking at right now. Of course, if you're not a fan of the outdoors, there are plenty indoor family fun options. We got about 30 seconds to go. Well, we have about four to five children's museums around the state, of course, the world's largest in Indianapolis. There's one in Evansville. There's one in Terre Haute. There's Kids Commons in Columbus with the world's largest toilet. What more could you want to flush yourself down the world's largest toilet? I love it. I love it. Amy Howe, Visit Indies VP of Tourism, Marketing, and Communications. Thank you so much, and please be careful in that traffic on I-69. <laughs> I will. Thank you so much for having me. All right, you're welcome. This is a slimmed-down version of the many things Indiana has to offer you and your family this spring. If you'd like to see more options, just go to our website, fox59.com.